Um, so he just said, I'm Sonia Petrovich, that is not my stage name, that is my real name. <laughs> and I am the founder and CEO of Meowzel.com, which is Uber for Cat City. We're bringing the perfect hospitality to the 100 million cat-owning parents in the U.S. alone, which represent a market size of over 5 billion that's spent on cat care each and every year. We're focusing our efforts in 10 major metro cities. These are the most densely populated cat cities in the country. We're going to turn these profitable before expanding elsewhere. And I'm super excited to report that we're growing at over 10% week over week revenue growth. So what keeps me up at night is the fact that these dog tech companies like Rover, Rag, Dog Vacay, which was acquired by Rover, have the nerve to go out and raise half a billion dollars thinking they can apply this dog model to cats, like Joe said. Cats don't want to be put on leashes. Cats don't want to go hang out with their kitty or doggy friends at daycare. Cats want to stay home in their safe space where they have their little territory because they're territorial animals. They're not pack animals. They don't want to go play. On top of that, fun fact number one of the day, cats are the number one pet in the country. They outnumber dogs by about five million. Yet they are the oppressed majority, and this has been a ginormous <laughs> elephant in the room that nobody has done anything about for the past two or three decades, up until now. And if I had to guess, by show of hands, who is a dog parent here? Cat parent? Oh my goodness, I'm in good company today. Um, well, usually the investor rooms, they are dog people. Dog people are social, they like to show off, they like to go brag to the other friends at the dog park. Um, so I understand. But <clears throat> The thing is, all this money has been going to the dog people. Rover and Dog VK CEOs are ex-VCs. So it's about time that some of this money comes in to solve the cat problem. So you can whip out your phone, go to meowsall.com. Within a few clicks, you can see all of the five-step vetted, fully insured, trustworthy cat sitters near you. You can go ahead and set up a meet and greet from there, or make a reservation with just another click. Our sitters love us, because not only can they make up to $30 an hour doing what they love, hanging out with their favorite little kitty cats. Um, and that, you know, the money is a big draw for our college age students. But most of our sitters are on the platform purely because of how much they love these animals. We have sitters in New York City who work for the UN. We have loan processors in San Diego. We have tech employees in Seattle, San Francisco. We have nurses in Chicago. And I think a sitter in Brooklyn told it to me best. She said, Sonia, the reason I'm a sitter on the outside is because it was impossible to find a good cat sitter in New York City. So I want to pay it forward based on the level of care I would want for my kitties and offer that to other cat parents near me. And that was like the explosive moment where I was like, man, this platform is different from any gig economy company out there because our sitters aren't drawn to it for the money. They're drawn to it for the love of the animals. And because there are a few dog people in the room, I really want to walk you through the customer experience and what these cat parents go through on their journey to find a great cat sitter. So, they arrive at Meowtel, and they are stressed, they are panicked, they are anxious. In their eyes, the cats are the children, and they're already freaking out who is going to watch my child. And if you guys need a real testimonial, Corita is actually a Meowtel customer, so speak to her afterwards. Um, but they arrive stressed. And then they see Meowtel, they see if there's cat pictures everywhere, they're like, wow, this may look like the community for me. And then they're, they're ready to jump off the cliff, and do their first search, and then they see all the five-star sitters near them. They're like, let's take a chance. Let me message them, see if they get back to me. And then from there, it's, hey, can we set up a meet and greet? They wait 15 to 30 minutes, ping. Hey, Sonia, I would love to set up a meet and greet and meet your kitties. Are you available Tuesday afternoon? Oh my gosh, the sitter already respond, responded, this is awesome. And then comes the first magic moment, the meet and greets, where Imagine two introverted, awkward people meeting up for the first time that they met on this cat sitting service. You know, the cat parent doesn't really know what to expect. And the sitter, because we coach them on every sitter success call, we equip them with a checklist of the right questions to ask the cat parents to provide the right care. They are ready to go. They're ready to learn about the cats and help this cat parent. So everything goes well. The cat parent makes a reservation. The second magic moment comes when they're in Europe. They check their phone. They have five updates from their Meowtel cat sitter. First update is a photo, second update is a video, third update is another photo, but it's a, it's a selfie of the cat sitter with the cat, and it looks like they're having more fun than their owner usually does with their kitty. And then the cat parent gets home, they check on the cats, it says, if nothing ever happened, the cats are content at home, just chilling out. 
And then we send our cat parents a handwritten thank you card with a silly cat in the front. And it just wraps up their experience completely. And then the cat parents go and tell their kitty like friends, you guys need to check out me, I'll tell. What our competitive advantage is going to be is our network of all star sitters. As I said, these people are drawn to the platform not for the money that they can earn, but because they want to pay it forward and offer superior care to those cat parents around them. Our other competitive advantage is going to be our team. So if you haven't already noticed, I'm kind of a proud, crazy cat lady, but I have a degree from Oxford, so hopefully that legitimizes me a little bit. And then I've been building out a team based on people who can get behind our vision and truly understand what we're doing. And our vision at Meowtel is we exist so every cat and cat parent can live their best life. You know, going back to Kevin on the last side who lives in Dallas, he didn't take a vacation for four years because he was so concerned about his children. And now cat parents don't have to worry about that anymore. So I hope, you know, I've touched your hearts and made you laugh with all the cat pictures and cat stories. But let me get into the market size and also the financials, and then hopefully you're convinced that kitty cats are a big business. So one in three American households own a cat. It's the number one pet in the country. And we estimate that about two-thirds of these households need daily care and attention, either because the cat's on special needs, or has special needs, and requires insulin shots or killing, or the cat takes wet food, which will, of course, require a breakfast and dinner feeding. The way I would feel like cat parents will take an extended vacation at least once per year. These are busy people. They like to travel, and they're on the go. So if we can either get them for that week that they're away, awesome. And then cat kenneling, which is the inferior solution, it's torture for your cats. It's actually the third largest expense behind vet bills and cat food. And I expect this to continue to work its way up uh, the list as people become aware of Meowtel. Meowtel becomes a household name, it becomes a verb. I'm gonna go Meowtel my cat for the weekends. Um, I know this spend will only continue to increase. So taking all these numbers into account, we're looking at a market size of roughly upwards of $6 billion, and that's in the US alone. There's no telling what can happen when we expand overseas. So we generate revenue by taking up to a 25% commission out of every reservation that comes to the platform. And since we've been tracking our first cohort of repeat customers, their value is a little over $400, but we expect this to continue to increase as they stick with us for the life of their kitty and then their next kitty. And it should be no surprise that our fourth quarter weekly revenue results are in the shape of a cat. That's what we do here. And yes, our um, reservations do follow macro travel trends. So we always see an uptick in Q4. January is our slowest month of the year. And then from there, it's like an 11-month marathon sprint as we go through the seasons with spring break, summer vacation. And our internal mantra at Meowtel is winter is always coming. So we always have to be prepared for our supplies to meet the demands come uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. So this is my um, cat torture matrix. <laughs> In this bottom left-hand quadrant, you know, you have all the rovers, the dog makers of the world, the holly dogs, and they're just duking it out right now with all of the VC backing and all the money to see who can be top dog. While they're busy over here spending money on um, buying market share, um, as we make our way over to the right, yes, you do have some more cat-centric options like cat hotels, cat kenneling facilities, but this is like putting a cat and surrounding them with all of their mortal enemies, they're hissed at, they're growled at. When you put a cat, in a, a cat in a kenneling facility, it usually just sits in a litter box for a week and comes back extremely upset and revenge poops on your floor when the cat gets home. <laughs> so we're going to do our thing. We're going to provide cats with what they want, which is to stay home. We're going to keep everything cat-centric. We are creating this blue ocean that we're going to swim in, we're going to expand, we're going to slice some sharks while we're at it, and we are going to win in the cat space so that nobody can touch us as we continue our growth. So we are raising $500,000 in a priced seed round at a $4 million post money valuation. Over half of this money is going to go directly towards advertising and marketing. So what I love about the point that we're at right now, we have a full quarter of data from our busiest time of the year and a full quarter of data from our slowest time of the year. Averaging these out, we get a really good understanding of how much the customer costs to acquire for us that we can use for the rest of the year. So right now, customers are about $60 to acquire. Sitters are about 16 So to get the desired output that we want, which is going to be $1.5 million in sales in fourth quarter alone, we know exactly <coughs> what kind of inputs we need to put into the system. Uh, the rest of the money is going to be uh, going towards talent, constantly improving our product based on what our cat parents want, and then, of course, a little bit of insurance and overhead um, as we keep cruising along. But I'm a thousand percent convinced 
that we are going to own this space. Um, we are going to have 18 months of runway to do so, turn ourselves cash flow positive, and continue to be a kitty unicorn that comes out of Texas. So what questions do you guys have?